Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Coming at you with 2019 Bowman Chrome Baseball 12 box. Pick your team number 8. 8 actually filled before 7. So if you're wondering where 7 is, it's not, it's not even full yet. I guess everyone liked the number 8. At the end of this, I'm going to give away a little bit of break rate. If you bought at least 2 teams, you'll get 1 entry. 4 teams gets you 2 entries. And then we'll line you guys all up and we'll randomize your names. Name on top gets 100 bucks of break credit, which is pretty nice. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into break number eight. All right, they're on the 20th. Thanks for spending your Friday with us, folks. Darren Porter with Last Bot Mojo. Dee Porter with the Red Sox. And there's everybody else. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And there's the fresh case right there. Good luck, everybody. Store decoration, probably. <laughs> speaking of... Uh Speaking of people that ruin things for other people, you know why we don't give away those posters anymore, ladies and gentlemen? Bill Drazy asking, can I get that poster? You know why we don't give away those posters anymore? Because someone ruined it for everybody, Bill. I used to give away those posters because it's fun, right? Who, who doesn't want an extra poster in their collection? But guess what? We sent this poster to some... I, for, I honestly forget who the person was. I, I wouldn't say his name anyway, or her name. Um, so we were doing it, and then, and then we get an email saying, and like, listen, we're not putting it... It's just it's a poster. It's like two cents, right? It's nothing. It's a promo poster that they put in all these cases. And, it, and so we're not going to like frame it for you and send it, right? So we maybe folded it a couple more times and put it in like the box that we usually ship stuff, and we sent it out. Not thinking it was going to be a problem. It was a problem. So then Boss Man goes, that person's ruined it for everybody. And I was like, I agree. No more posters being sent out. If you come to the shop, Bill, and we have extra posters, I'll give you one. But that's the story, ladies and gentlemen. A free poster that someone won, and then and we get guff about it. It's all folded up, ruined, ruined, okay, okay. <laughs> it's already folded. So, that ruined it for everybody. Vanilla Gorilla, will I send you a poster? No. Visit me here in Los Angeles. Visit our brand new shop in Hermosa Beach, California on Pier and PCH. I'll give you a poster if we have any left. It wasn't EA. I don't think it was. No, EA knows better than that. Someone ruined it. It wasn't Joe P. Remember, we were giving away, there was people who were winning posters, William L. Joe P doesn't win things here. He'll tell you that. <laughs> no good deed goes unpunished, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, Vanilla Grill, I would love to meet you, man. Buy me a beer. I'll have to buy you a beer then. All right. We've got Danny Diaz is our first autograph. That goes to the Red Sox. Darren Porter, last bot mojo. I can't. Well, likewise. Buy me dinner first. 
There's uh, Francisco Morales to 250. We'll sleeve and top load all of those a little bit later. Just in the interest of time, we're gonna breeze through, breeze through these. In case you're wondering, Fernando Tatis Jr. is a redemption, so keep an eye out for redemps. Nine out of 99, Wencel Perez. Yeah, not standards, sir. <laughs> we got Levon Soto for Jacob Hanks and the Halos. There's Dion Stafford, Purple Shimmer. Those aren't numbered. And there's Red Turn 2, Justin Turner. We'll do a quick autograph recap at the, at the uh, end of this one, too. Why am I watching this NFL Top 100 thing? And there's probably baseball on for this baseball break. DirecTV, change the channel to MLB Network. It doesn't do that. My batteries are low. Get out of here. That's a scam from Big Battery. Big Battery always wants you to change batteries. That's how they get you. Direct TV, their remote controls, ladies and gentlemen. They're being supported by Big Battery. And Big Battery is telling them, hey, even when the battery is only 50%, tell them the batteries are low. That's how they get you. They're in cahoots. Energizer, Duracell, EverReady, all those guys. Just like the toner guys, big toner. Big toner is out there telling you that your printer toner is running low. Mm -hmm. Hi. Can I help you? Sorry about that. I want to help with her car, but all right. All right. I don't know what she's talking about. Josh Hader. One out of five. I don't know what she was battling. I don't think she was double parked. Didn't think her car was messed up. I don't know what it was. All right. One out of five. Josh Hader. Brew Crew. Lou Reeves. Lou. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! <laughs> no, she did not work for a toner or a battery company. Although that would have been funny. Big toner and big battery. They're always watching, you guys. Be vigilant. Stay woke. 81 out of 100, Buddy Reed for the Padres. That's going to go to Jacob Freelander with the Friars. Got an Arizona Fall League autograph. There's Eric Pardino.
Hebert Ruiz, Vlad Guerrero Jr. We'll save those rookie cards, too. I'm sure they, those guys will carry some value there. This guy has some value. He's got a big bat. Out of 499, Keston Hira. And we've got Geraldo Perdomo. Mark Leros with the Snakes. We got Mason Engler to $4.99, Refractor. Everything ships in this stuff, folks, so in case you're... I know I'm moving a little quickly, but everything ships, so everything you see flash across your screen will go to you. Uh, this is the third box of Chrome Hobby number eight. Uh, no Indians yet, Jason. I mean, I guess there could have been like a, a base card Indian, but no Indian hits yet. So, anyway, moral of the story is watch out for big toner, ladies and gentlemen. The printer's just fine. Just shake the toner cartridge a little bit. Maybe do it outside. Sometimes a little toner can fly out and might ruin your carpet. Or your shirt, your pants. You just run, go to the garage, shake the toner a little bit, it'll be fine. Toner will be just fine. All right, let's move on. There's Clayton Kershaw to 499 for the Dodgers. 66 out of 99, Christian Javier. That's for the Astros. That's going to go to Dan Gardner. Use a laser. Don't laser printers use toner too? I'm talking toner, ink, all that stuff though. I'll get you. There's Kyle Wright, 250. I guess you could use a thermal printer, but, you know, to. Thermal paper is super expensive. That's how they get you there. It's big paper getting you. Here's Mason Englert again for the Rangers. That'll be for V-Rack. Zach Brown Ben to four ninety nine. First quarter of the case done. Here comes the second quarter. How do you how do you know that Jaspies isn't a big break company just trying to get you? We could be. We could be. I don't, know, I don't think I don't think we do I don't think we do enough of the volume, enough volume to uh, to get into that category of like you know, like, big toner, we're talking about these guys trying to move as many units as possible. You know, big battery, they're just trying to, they're just trying to have you replace AA batteries on your remote controls every other month. That's how they get you. So since we're not doing that kind of volume, this is, we're talking like big data volume, right? We're talking like they're selling hot dogs in packs of eights, 
and hot dog buns and packs of tens. You know what I mean? That kind of stuff. We're talking that level. Josh Givner, what's going on? I would love to do. I'm a I'm a big soccer fan. I would love to do some of that Prism soccer. I'm down. I'm down if you're down. We need a couple high rollers to step up though. Jaskyscasebreaks.com. So here we are, second quarter of Pick Your Team 8, filled before 7. There's Jorge Alcala. Gila says, I actually cut the cord and had to return my DirecTV stuff. I told them you lost the remote. They didn't care charging me extra. See, they don't care. They just want that battery money, Gilo. Mark Masson, what team would you recommend? Oh, I can't do that. Because then people will just be like, well, he's just going to recommend the expensive team. If it doesn't hit, then I'll just be like, oh, man. I'll see you tomorrow. Jacob DeGrom. Yeah, 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 that's fine. No, my car's outside. It's fine. I can get it afterwards. All right. There is Nick Green. Uh, William says that hot dog bun comment, hot dog and bun comment was in the 80s movie True Stories. I've never heard of that movie. There's uh, Nick Green going to the Yankees. Darren Porter. There you go, Dean Porter. Well, how about I can suggest the – how about Chelsea Soccer Club? I'm pretty sure Christian Pulisic has autographs in there if you want to check the checklist. Um, that Owen Miller orange is a nice one too. That will go to Jacob. Can someone confirm that? Christian Pulisic is the next big – American star. And he's on Chelsea right now. He went from, remember this is a Prism English Premier League soccer, and he's on a Premier League team now. He was in Borussia Dortmund. He was on Dortmund last season, and then got transferred to Chelsea this, uh, this recent summer. And I'm pretty sure his autographs are already in there in his Chelsea gear. It'll be the first time in, his, in a Premier League shirt. They call them shirts out there, not jerseys, which would be good because it's technically his rookie year, I, I, would, I would say. Rookie year in the Premier League, I guess. It was a project I had by David Byrne talking at Super Curry. Huh, check that out. True stories. Didn't they didn't didn't Talking Heads have a documentary of like their last concert ever? And then that documentary turned into a parody documentary, a tribute documentary on IFC, Documentary Now with Seth Green, Seth Myers, Bill Hader, and uh, Fred Armisen. Which is pretty good. I think Maya Rudolph's in that episode too. Pete Alonzo hit a monster. He almost hit hit a sign, and a fan wins a tundra. Did he hit that sign? That'd be cool. That'd be cool to win a tundra. Pete Alonzo is beating the rookie home run record, right? He's only two behind Aaron Judge. He's past McGuire now, though. All right, we've got 31 out of 150. We've got Jonathan Machado 
opting to drop H's in his name. That's what it's called. Stop making sense. Yeah. So on the on, on the uh, satire show documentary now, they do a satire of that. It's really good. Jeremy Elkins with the Cardinals, by the way. There's a uh, Spencer Howard to 250. I think he'll break that record, right? Pete Alonso breaking just needs three more home runs. How many more games are there? Six, seven more games left. There's Yoan Mankata to 250. There's Ramon Laureano to 150. I feel like Ramon Laureano would have been a dark horse rookie of the year uh, candidate if he didn't get injured in the middle of the season. And there's uh, Telmito Augustine. Well, I think two ties it. He just hit, unless he hit another one. He's at 50 right now, according to what I just saw on MLB Network. Judge had 52. Two to tie, three to break it, seven or eight games left. That's for the Nats, Jacob Freelander. I mean, yeah, why not? I'm sure he's gunning for it. There's really nothing else for the nothing else for the Mets, right? Or maybe maybe me. I think they have an outside chance for the second wild card spot, but Right, so I was going to say someone checked on that judge number, but yeah, judge has 52, so yes, he needs three. Three in seven or eight games? Why not? I think he'll be gunning for it. I think he's going to go up there and... I mean, maybe if he, uh, you know, maybe if there's runners on base, maybe he's, and, and all he needs is to hit a sack flyer. So I don't think he's going to be, you know, he's going to be unnecessarily doing it. He, I think he still wants to help the team win, score runs. But if, if, if no, there's no men on base, I'll bet he'll be swinging for the fences every time. What about Acuna? Is Acuna going to hit 44? I don't even know what is, uh, where, where he's at right now. Oh, he's got to get 40-40, right? He's got 40 home runs already, Ronald Acuna Jr. He just needs three more stolen bases. When's the last time someone went 40-40? I know Matt Kemp got close. There's Bryce Harper to 499. And there's Patrick Sandoval. Sean saying he hit 41 tonight. Nice. Oh, yeah, he's got that. So stop hitting home runs, Ronald Cooney Jr. Get on base. Steal a base. That goes to the Halos. That'll be for uh, Jacob Hanks with that one. There's Tristan Casas, Tristan Houses to 499. And we've got Quentin Torres Costa, autograph for the Brew Crew. Lou, with that one. There's Mitchell White, purple shimmer for the Dodgers. 
And there he is. There's Pete Alonzo. All right, now we're getting to the third quarter of the case. We should be done with this in about, oh, I don't know, another 20 minutes or so. And then we'll get into the one box break and then whatever fills up after that. No one's mentioned that anything is, that something else is sold out, so we'll see. There you go. Hobby 7 is now down to 1. So if we sell that out, we can add that to the schedule. There you go. Sean, Sean Kelly, tell, tell Acuna Jr. to steal some bases. What happened with those two walks? Oh, there must have been, maybe there was a man on second. There was one year where Alfon remember Alfonso Soriano? He got close to a 50-50 season, I want to say. That guy just balled out for like there was a, a few years span where he was just like unstoppable. P. Alonzo refractor to 499. Nice. For the Blue Jays, refractor autograph for Adam Kloffenstein. It's Adam Kloffenstein going to Dan Gardner and the Bluebirds. There we go. There's Lazaro Armenteros to 499. Derek saying looks like XR is on the move too. There we go. Tim Tebow, I keep forgetting that Tim Tebow is there too. We'll save a couple of those for the Mets. And we got Eli White. That goes to VRAC and the Rangers. There's Sixto Sanchez to 49. I forgot that he was on the Marlin. Someone reminded me that. He was part of that Real Muto deal. in here. All right, next box. Good luck, everybody. One final in baseball. Cardinals edging out the Cubs 2-1. to one. So the Cubs sliding out of that second wild card spot and falling five games behind the Cardinals. Cubs are one and a half back of the second wild card spot. The Brewers are in there now. Mets are three and a half back of the second wild card. Phillies are four games back, and the Diamondbacks are five back, so they're still within striking distance. Rays and Indians are are uh, tied up for the second wild card spot in the AL. The 
the Indians are four games back of uh, Cleveland or uh, of Minnesota right now. So I guess there's not too many games left, but still in the train. Oh, you close out seven, Diane. Thank you. Nice. So seven. So we're currently doing eight. Seven is going to happen after this. Yeah, we did see that, Sean. That's what prompted this whole like, hey, this could this happen? Could could Pete Alonso get fifty three and beat Aaron Judge? Can Acuna Jr. get forty forty? There's Jonathan Machado, Cardinals. That is for Jeremy Elkins. There's Garrett Whitlock. Jose Altuve at a 250. Is that right, Paul Hudgens? They say Sixto could be the next Pedro? We're talking Pedro Martinez, right? Not, uh, not Pedro Baez? Austin Warner, another Cardinal, Cardinal box for Jeremy Elkins. There's Miguel Geraldo to 250. And we've got Owen Miller, some gold right here to 50. That will be for the Friars, Jacob Freelander. Pedro Martinez, kind of a lanky right-hander, lots of power in the arm, a lot of strikeouts. Could be interesting. Jason Hockerman saying it's not the birthday mojo. We're, we're, we're far from being done. Two, four, six, eight autos left. All it takes is one or two big hits. And we're back on track. Play to the whistle. We've got to play to the whistle. Let's not give up too early. Still a lot of break to go. Happy birthday, Jason. Good luck, everyone. Here we go. And we've got Israel Pineda for the Nationals, Jacob Freelander. There's Cam Rogner. To 150. And there is Durbin Feltman for the Red Sox. That's for Last Bot Mojo D. Porter. The Porter House steak. Gilo, what did you what did your Cito Sanchez sell for recently? There's Anderson Tejada to four ninety nine Rangers. Another Ranger, Ronald Guzman to four ninety nine. 
Three box go, final quarter of the case. Oh, I, don't, I, was, I didn't realize that the Red Sox and uh, the Rays are playing each other. Wait, oh no, I thought it was the Cleveland. I thought it was Cleveland. Um, both Cleveland and the Rays are battling for the second wild card spot. Cleveland is beating the uh, Phillies 5-2. to two, And the Rays are beating the Red Sox 3-2. to two. So, it may stay the same tonight. I, think, I feel like a lot of these may come to the last couple of games of the of the season before anything's decided you sold a one or two you sold a two or three card lot for about 70 bucks one was a Bowman draft another was Bowman tech ungraded yeah you're too impatient for prospecting yeah the Bowman stuff there's only a, a few guys you know that are going to get you like well, the rookies, and then a few prospects that'll give you big money right off the right off the gate, right out of the gate. But a lot of mo but for most of these, it's like you kind of hold on to them. You know, like guy like Taylor Trammell may be a big prospect, you know, but he might not be selling well right now. But once he makes it, which he's supposed to, you know. That's where like the big value starts to roll in, but yeah, it's 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 a bit of a process. There's Jonathan India to 150 atomic for the Reds, and there's Alejandro Kirk, 234 out of 250 for the Blue Jays. Dan Gardner. There's a uh, Campusano. To four ninety nine, and there's Colby Allard to fifty gold for the Braves, who are up six nothing on the Giants and one out away from popping some champagne. And there's Cam Rowan Gardner, Henry Rowan Gardner. Popped up. Acuna with the catch. Braves win the AL East, NL East. That's for the Brew Crew. Taylor Trammell can hit, says TJ. That's right, both he and Downs were those Reds prospects. On the Dodgers now, there's Adbert Alzale. Congrats to the Bravos. As a Dodger fan, what team, let's, let me ask myself, what team am I most afraid of in in the NL. Nationals and Braves. Those are the two teams I'm worried about in the playoffs. Jacob Hanks, you're a Brave, Braves guy? Not afraid of any team in the NL? As a Dodger fan, I am definitely afraid of the Braves, of your Braves, and the Nationals. Oh, me and the Dodgers should be worried. I say I am worried. Jacob Hanks, those are the two teams I'm worried about. Are 
Or no, you were saying the Dodgers shouldn't be worried? Wait, let's, let's start over, Jacob Hanks. Should I be worried about the Braves? I personally am. You're saying I shouldn't be worried, okay. Should I be worried about the Nats? You see the Nationals more, probably more often than I do. I feel like with Scherzer and Strasburg and Patrick Corbin, like that first three, like in a five, if there was a five games, I don't know, that just, that just makes me nervous. Like I feel like the Nationals bullpen can be got for sure, right? But, well starting pitching. Yeah, I'm probably underrating the Cardinals, huh, Gilo? I feel like I feel like they're not really a sexy team. You know, they but they're just they just they're just gritty. They just play well. You know, and they and they just grind it out, grind it out, and they now they're winning the division. They're three and a half games ahead of the Brewers. Um, not worried about the Brewers, not worried about the Cubs or any of the other National League teams. Braves and Nationals are in the playoffs I'm worried about. In the AL, definitely worried about the Yankees. If I saw them, there's Joey Votto. Definitely worried about the Astros. You know, Dodgers A's World Series would be really fun, but I'm not worried about the A's or the Rays or the Indians. Minnesota, uh, John G. is asking, what about Minnesota? I am worried, a little bit worried about Minnesota. Not worried about their starting pitching, but those bats can be pretty terrifying. And the Dodgers' bullpen can get shaky at times. You know, so I, I, can, see, I can see the Twins just make, making innings longer than they should be. There's Esteban Floreal to 499. The Michael King and the Floreal goes to D. Porter. The Porterhouse State. There's Johan Duran. And for the tribe, Brian Rocio. See, we got we got Jason Ackerman on the board. Nicknamed the Professor. And from the same town as Glaber Torres. Your number nine Indians prospect, Jason Ackerman. The Doc Ock. Spencer Howard to 150. No worries, Jason. Don't at least you're skunked. Well, and guess what? All cards ship too. So I haven't been calling out all the inserts and stuff like that. But you know, there could be a stack of uh, Indians cards and some inserts and whatnot too. There should be at least. And we still have two autographs to go, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. Oh, and we're giving away money, so you still have a chance at this. If you unless you didn't buy two teams. Oh, I don't think he did, but... Well, for the people who are eligible, you still have a chance at break credit, especially if you've not hit. So keep that in mind, too, boys and girls. Still another second chance opportunity. Gabe thinking the Twins just enjoying an easy ride, though. Oh, sorry, Jacob Hanks was saying earlier, oh, Braves are streaky, I see. All right. Keep an eye out. Twins just enjoying an easy ride, thinks Gabe. But Bill's like, I disagree. This hasn't been easy. I don't know. Twins kind of cruise. The Indians weren't as uh, as terrifying as I thought they'd be this season. Twins are ahead by, like, what, 10 games at some point? Daniel, what's going on?
Right, yeah, and they're playing, yeah, one of, one of the worst divisions in baseball, if not the worst. Out of 250, Jake Rogers, atomic insert, Arizona Fall League insert. And we got Luis Garcia. Phillies autograph for Darren McKenzie. There's Luis Garcia. What up, Dale? No, it's fine, man. A lot of people here hanging out. Can't go out every Friday. Fifty one out of ninety nine, Edwin Encarnacion. And our last autograph is Moises Gomez. Moises Gomez for the Tampa Bay Rays EA on the board as well. And a gold Beau Bichette. 50 out of 50 gold shimmer for the Blue Jays, Dan Gardner. Blue Jays are going to have a scary team in a year or two. All right, and there you have it, boys and girls. It sure will, Redmond. It sure will. We still have, we still have two hours left uh, in our schedule. All right, let's set up some random.org screens. Right, then we got to start with at least no skunks. I can build from there. All right. So if you bought at least two teams, if you bought at least two teams, you'll get one entry in the promo. If you bought four, you'll get two entries. Dan Gardner got two. Darren got two. Darren Porter got two. EA bought three teams. Jacob got three. That's still just two entries. Jacob Hanks. Josh. Ryan. All right, there we go. A lot more names on this list. Just a couple more than usual. Out of 10, one out of 10 chance. For 100 bucks of break credit, which I will email to you after this video is done. And let's roll it and randomize it six times. Two and a four. Good luck, everybody. One, two, three, four, four, five, and sixth and final time. After six, it's Ryan. I, Ryan Nguyen, I don't think I called your name. All break. So there you go. Your second chance prize is 100 bucks of break credit to jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for breaking with us. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.